The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-445-1044. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, looking good, Billy Ray. Feeling good, Lewis. So uh, we're going to talk to you today from the offices of Duke and Duke, 100 South Broad Street, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Starting out with our usual DAX chart, as you can see over the past few days, slight bearish bias, nice patterns up and down, A, B, C, D. But the one we really need to pay attention to, of course, is the next one, which is the German foots, not German, it could have been back in 1939. Anyway, this is the uh, UK FTSE, just completed a perfect A, B, C, D at the 50% level. We've been down. Uh, we're at seven days in a row now. We're setting at the 382 retracement. That should be some type of a uh, support there, but we'll see. There's a lot of stuff going on in Brexit, as we already know, so pay attention to it because it could be very interesting. Folks, we might have a special guest. It'll either be today or tomorrow. One of the old, uh, when they when they erect these statues in Chicago for floor traders, um, John Chevney would certainly have one, and uh, he's been on the floor for, oh, my gosh, forever. I first met him back in the early 70s. He was on a squawk box for Payne Weber, and their office was, their their, their post at the Merck was right next to uh, Conti's, and that's where Dave Norton worked. And guess who worked at Payne Weber at that time was none other than the young man named Rich Anderson. And so Rich has been talking to uh, John for every day since that time. And he's uh, one of the number one guys for cattle and hogs. He works for the Siegel Trading Company for 30-some years. So um, that's the meat king of uh, Chicago. So we'll, we'll hopefully have him on today. Uh, if not today, it'll be tomorrow. He's out here visiting his daughter uh, from Chicago. She's out here in Arizona. So anyway, what we'll do here is go on to the next one. Folks, we talked about this pattern last week uh, and the week before that and the week before that, the last three weeks actually, when it was completing. But this is the German bun that we were watching. You'll notice that we have the bearish Gartley pattern there. You have the ABCD uh, setting at the, it went up to the actual 0.84 number just a little above the the 78 percent level uh, and then turned down that's that's not unusual because you know if you looked at the smaller ABC D in between that from one between July and October that was a 1.618 expansion so that was pretty much what we were expecting and now it's really started to uh, you know turn to the downside which means it looks like interest rates could be going higher you know, instead of lower. If we take a quick look at the shorter term version of this German bond, you'll notice here that here again, we're looking at a, a four hour chart going back uh, since January. You'll notice the very nice symmetrical ABCD pattern measuring up there to exactly 66.79. We went sideways, folks. Can you believe that? For three weeks. And now we're rolling to the downside. That's not good action. That means there's a lot of supply that was uh, changed hands up at that area. Uh, it could turn in reverse, of course, from here. But this is actually a relatively bearish chart now. The fact that you're going below, in fact, one more one more really bad day, you'll be taking the lows of February out, and that is not going to be good for interest rates in the UK. And, of course, just looking at our bonds here in the 30-year uh, bond, in our 30-year bond, you know, we're now breaking uh, substantially below the uh, the the 46 level, and I believe we're almost ready to attack the uh, – the 45 low, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, we're down. We got down to 45, 145.10 today uh, in that one. So sort of pay attention to it because uh, these interest rates appear to be going higher. We, we've talked about the long-term picture in this. That it's very, very bearish. These are nothing more than rallies in a bear market, uh, and we'll see uh, what happens uh, with that as we go as we go away. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Terry, the, the, the joke here at TFNN is that if the bonds get to 170, I have to take a ride in uh, one of uh, Mr. Tom O'Brien's uh, uh, yachts, uh, his beautiful fishing boats, because I do not like going out on the water, especially there 
in the clear body, clear water where they have these tremendous high tides where they the waves come splashing over the boats. I mean, it's really, really tough. Anyway, let's move on to a couple other things. Uh, let's let's just talk just a tiny bit here uh, about one that I have an interest in. Of course, we all do. That's the uh, the E Mini S and P. We've had a uh, pretty good uh, movement here uh, recently, and I wanted to. Uh, let, uh oh, I got the wrong chart. Bear with me here one second. Here we're having problems with the old uh, charts once more. Oh dear. This is not good. Ah, shucks. Shut the front door and raise the rent. Give me a second here. What did I do with that ES chart? I mean, I had it right here. I was ready to bring it up in the whole bit, and now I can't find it. Well, you know what it was. I mean, we had a lot of resistance up there at that uh, 2815 level, and we went right down exactly to the 78% level of 27. Um, 75 and we've bounced off of that so until we go below 2775 it has the appearance of wanting to uh you know you know wanting to go lower that's basically what it appears like to us i you know i might be wrong but that's uh, that's the way it's looking right now what really frustrates me is that i had this chart right in front of me and i now i can't find it and i spent a lot of time getting it ready Shut the front door and raise the rent. We'll try to find it if we can a little bit later. If not, I'll post it, you know, from uh, some other place. But doggone it, I just don't understand it. Keep a close eye ho uh, today, folks, on the euro. Um, we've been talking about that one for several days now. We reached up to our pro our profit a profit objective today of that uh, one fourteen fifteen. We got as high as uh, 114.20. That means that we could be looking at uh, a little bit of a correction here uh, in the euro. This one I do have ready for us. You'll be able to see it here without any trouble. You'll notice that this is where we are. You'll be able to see. Here we go. You'll see there's the ABCD structure. We have several of them there. We're right at the 61% retracement of the high from uh, January the 30th. That's also a 50% retracement from the high of uh, you know early uh, January on January the 8th. Remember, this is a four-hour chart, so you get to see a couple of months. You can see the big three-drive pattern from the early part of 2019 into the 24th of January into the 15th of February. That's a perfect cycle bottom. You do the work yourself and defy human nature. You'll see that those cycles are spot on, and it's a perfect ABCD in price and time, and those are the ones that you like to have because they give you the best possible, uh, you know, showing. Now, um, let me do one other thing. I've got to. So I had a special request today from the people from uh, uh, across the pond, and and they're also talking about the uh, the Australian dollar. And what we're going to do here is we're going to look at the cross rate between the British pound and the Australian dollar. And as you can see here, we are completing that three drive pattern, very symmetrical. You'll see the ABCD pattern from December through January also completes up there at that uh, 187, 1.870 1 level. Uh, we backed off about 80 pips from that level last night. Haven't checked it yet this morning. This is not a cross rate that I trade. Uh, I basically trade the pound versus the dollar. The pound versus the Aussie is a lot less uh, liquid, so I move on. Let's take a break here, pay a few bills for TFNN, and we'll be right back. 877-927-6648. The Taz Profile Scanner is the most revolutionary piece of trading software that you will ever try. Wouldn't you like to approach the markets with confidence? As you begin your trading day, it's likely that you'll be faced with lots of decisions. In order to make the best decision, the first thing you'll need is a strategy that will help you minimize your risks. Whether we're in a bull or bear market, a good strategy is to have the tools needed to help you scan and analyze the markets before you trade. The Taz Profile Scanner instantly scans and filters over 2,500 global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodity futures, and Forex. Headed by Steve Dahl, president of Taz Market Profile, the Taz Profile Scanner understands that in today's technological world, the use of top flight software applications, automated trading algorithms, and technical analysis expertise is essential to successful trading in today's market. 
Whether you're looking at the trade matrix, the ETF heat grid, the market breadth, the landscape charts, or the many other features of the TAS Profile Scanner, this is a piece of software that will revolutionize how you look at the markets and set up your trades. The team at TAS has even put together a 12-part video series to walk you through every aspect of the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find directly on the TAS order page at TFNN.com. Sign up now for only $97 a month with a risk-free 30-day trial so you have nothing to lose and everything to gain. See for yourself how you can harness the full power of the TAS Profile Scanner by visiting the front page of TFNN.com today and you'll find the TAS Profile Scanner under the Services section. Remember, with a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to lose. Don't let another day pass you by without trying out this amazing piece of software that will revolutionize how you look at the market and how you place trades. Sign up today. Many of our new listeners have heard about The Tiger's Den. The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of the TFNN shows, plus see all of the charts as they happen live and have access to archives of all of those charts. You can test drive The Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days and greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets and how to make your money work for you. Details on The Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN has launched our brand new website. You can still visit us at the same TFNN.com URL, but when you do, you'll see a new and improved homepage with a much simpler navigation, whether you're watching Tiger TV live in high definition or just accessing your newsletter subscriptions. We even have new pricing in six months and yearly options. Check out the new TFNN.com now and experience all the upgrades. TFNN.com, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Okay, we're back, folks, and we will have John Shervany on at the break here. That's going to be fun, folks. He's one of the original guys down from the work. I believe we're the same age. Got to be close because I haven't known him 50 years. Anyway, let's take a look at this E-mini S&P. I put it up here. You can see the 135 pattern. This is an hourly chart. Uh, you, know, you can see the pattern forming. We did get down to uh, this was about as low as it got last night. And they did rally up to that trend line uh, early this morning at 1290. Whether that's going to hold or not, you know, I'm not really sure. But what I did do is uh, thankfully from one of our friends across the pond that sent me an interesting picture of the uh, E-mini S&P. And I just uh, put it in my program and, and redeveloped it. If you notice that same pattern, you can see the 135 pattern. We have the lower highs, all of them coming in at major Fibonacci numbers, either 78 or 61% retracements, but you can see the head and shoulders pattern. You can see the left shoulder back on the 21st, the head on the 25th, and here we are uh, today on the 28th, we made the right shoulder. Now, if we get above uh, 2,800, this means that this pattern has certainly failed. Right now, I believe we're trading around 2789, so it's really still in vogue, but who knows. The main thing to look at on the head and shoulders pattern, folks, is if you look at the top of the page there, you'll see those sine waves that I've put in, all I've done is I've marked the high from the 21st, I marked the high the 25th, and then it moves it out automatically, and you can see that that's what you're watching for. Because head and shoulders patterns, your right shoulder, which we are having here, is lower than your left shoulder by a point. It's not much, but it's a point. And so that does mean that it's to downside. But again, any move above 2,800 would change this and probably move it to the upside. But right now, this is what we're looking at. So we're going to see if that's going to be the case. Now, we have some folks that are uh, interested in the gold market. We want to take a quick look at this gold market because I believe uh, they're looking at a price around that 1300 level. And you can see here going back to November, we've basically been in a very, very strong uptrend. We hit some strong resistance at 1350 uh, because we had that three drive pattern. But look at the support that we have coming in. We're trading at around 1320 uh, right now. Uh, down about another 30 bucks, another harmonic number down would be the 78% retracement of the low of the year back on 2019. 
which was uh, 1275. That would bring you in at 1292. It would also, more importantly, be a 382 retracement of the whole move going back to November of last year. So this is really key support here at this uh, 13, uh, eight, uh, thir excuse me, 1292 level uh, in the uh, April gold. This is a four-hour chart but it does have good patterns and it's, it's certainly tradable. But that's what we're watching here in the gold market. It's got a pretty good chance of doing it uh, because, you know, it hasn't run away to the upside uh, after breaking out above 1330. We just stopped at 1351, which is actually, you know, something that we would uh, be expecting. Folks, one other one that we've been watching really closely is the uh, the cattle, excuse <laughs> The coffee. Now, remember, we had that really great pattern in the May coffee. Stopped exactly where it should have. I want to get it up here so you folks can take a quick look at it here. Uh, it closed uh, down about 40 cents from where the buy was at 97.20. And now we're trading two and a half cents above that. And if we were to close strong today above a dollar uh, in coffee, this would confirm a major bottom because that ABCD pattern is uh, very, very symmetrical. It's, it covers uh, a long period of time. So if, it, in fact, it does turn from here, the last time we made the B leg of this ABCD move, it moved a 30 cents. 30 cents in coffee is equivalent to about $7,500. I don't know if it's going to make it, but at least it's starting in the right direction. The whole key to looking at this chart today, folks, is if you bought it down there, at 97.20, you're in a free trade. Repeat that. You're in a free trade. This is all about risk control, folks. It's not about how much money you make. It's about how much money you don't lose. So you put your stop at break even, 97.20. Turn off your your uh, monitor on coffee and go look at uh, go look at light, lean hogs or anything else. Go look at natural gas, but don't look at coffee. Just let it do its own thing. Don't watch if it's making money or not, and that's where most people get into trouble is they're thinking about how much money they want to make as opposed to how much money they want to lose. Remember, as winners think how much money I can lose, losers think how much money I can win. Usually when I give a lecture or a webinar, I always bring up the slot machine. And uh, I show the slot machine. It says, nowhere on this machine does it tell you that you have no chance of beating me. Nowhere on that machine does it say I've taken in $1.2 million more than I've given out. All it does is flash these beautiful lights and say, look, play with me here, play with me here, and may win all this money. But they don't tell me that you can lose a whole lot. Years ago, uh, Las Vegas had it set up so the uh, – the, uh, Slot machines would take credit cards, if you can believe that. That lasted for about six months, folks, <laughs> and you can imagine why. Anyway, uh, they, those it just went absolutely crazy, and then they had to stop that. Uh, so anyway, that's uh, literally what's going on to be uh, going back on board. <laughs> oh, the old uh, ZB back to flat. I don't know what that means. It means it's rallied back a little bit. Well, it. Oh, what are you talking about, sweet sunshine? It's only rallied nine ticks. It just completed. Look at this. Come on now. Let's just take a look at this since we're all together here as friends here at TFNN. We want to take a look at this, but we just completed a beautiful. Here, I'll just draw it in. Here, you can see it, uh, uh, Maria. You'll, you'll, it's just a beautiful uh, ABCD pattern just completed. You can see it right there at uh, 115.10. That's the ABCD from the last seven days. You had a high of uh, 147, come down to match the bottom, 115, 145.15, up to the 78% level, 80.84. The difference between 0 0.84 and 0 0.786 for this is six pips, so that's really nothing. And there's your ABCD. Uh, let me draw it in here for the folks that uh, don't know what an ABCD pattern looks like, and I'm sure there's some out here that uh, – Never been. Oh, just a minute here. You got to be able to be a better artist than this, Mr. Picasso. Hold on here a second, and we'll get this in here. Uh, we're going to have a real treat here, I believe, here at the uh, the half hour. Okay, here we go. Let's get this up here so you folks can take a quick look at it. And uh, yes, that's the uh, that's the four hour chart that I'm looking at here. The hourly chart will do the same thing. So it's a uh, it's a major thing. Now, if we close below 145. That's going to be relatively negative, I believe, in the uh, uh, Treasury bonds. And we've already shown you the German bond, so these do not look good. Uh, that, that's my opinion, of course, for, folks. And, you know, opinions uh, are like armpits. Everybody has one, and it usually 
uh, doesn't doesn't smell too good. All right, let's take a look at another one that uh, we've had a question about. Um, I know that we'll be moving to the June contract uh, on Treasury bonds, I believe, uh, tomorrow. Yeah, tomorrow is the 1st of March, so we'll probably start moving to the June contract. The patterns look exactly the same because those are, those are big, uh, you know, those are big commodities. I mean, the notes are the biggest. I believe bonds are the second business, busiest, and then the others uh, go through there. So anyway, that's what we're watching here. Uh, today in those bonds, we'll we'll see what's uh, what's going to happen, you know, with this. We had another question about the Bitcoin. We'll cover this relatively quickly. We've had we've held the uh, bottom here so far in the Bitcoin at 3,700. It hasn't gone below that. If it goes back that, if it goes below that, the Bitcoin would have a slightly negative bias. But we've made that big Gartley down there in the Bitcoin, and it could be looking at it. So we'll see. All right, let's take a break here, and we'll be back with our guest. John Sherbany from Chicago in just a few minutes. Larry Pesavento has just started his brand new service, Fibonacci 24-7, and he's already delivering content to his subscribers on a daily basis when the market's opened and even on weekends. Each Monday, you'll receive Larry's written report that provides detailed commentary and a summary on the charts and videos that Larry sends out. And throughout the week, when warranted, Larry will send out via charts or videos or both the key markets that he is watching during the day. This will be up-to-the-date active trading information that will help you in your daily trading. In Larry's first week alone, he sent out 25 charts, six videos, and a full report to his subscribers in just one week. If you're a technical trader that uses patterns and retracements to trade, then Larry's service Fibonacci 24-7 is something that you must try. Right now, new subscribers can get a full 30-day money-back guarantee. With nothing to risk, sign up now to Larry Pesavento's Fibonacci 24-7 by visiting the front page of TFNN.com under Trading Newsletters. The Path of Least Resistance is David White's daily trading newsletter, and if you're looking for active trading ideas, then now's a perfect time for a 30-day free trial to this powerful daily trading advisory service. David uses his years of trading experience to offer his subscribers his trading ideas each morning in his Path of Least Resistance newsletter. Using a combination of equity trades along with options, David keeps his subscribers up to date with all pertinent market information with intraday afternoon updates when warranted. Don't miss out on this great chance to get a 30-day free trial to David's daily newsletter, The Path of Least Resistance, with no obligation to pay anything. David has been delivering solid recommendations for his subscribers recently, and if you'd like to see the type of newsletter he delivers every morning, then visit the front page of TFNN, and you'll find The Path of Least Resistance under Trading Newsletters. For all the details, and to start your 30-day free trial today, log on to TFNN.com now. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Okay, we're back, folks, and I hope you pay attention now because I think we have a legend on the line. John, are you there? <laughs> <laughs> yes, I am. <laughs> yes, John, how, I am, how old are you now? You're about 75? I am about 73. Okay, good. I knew it had to be that because I first heard you on the Payne Weber Squawk Box back in the early 70s with a young man named Rich Anderson, who I know you talk to all the time. And, uh, I talk and, to Rich and, and as I recall, Jeff Silverman was one of your good buddies, wasn't the market wizard that uh, I knew very well? He's your buddy, Jeff isn't he? Jeff Silverman, 
he's a he's a really he's a very good friend. He's been a friend of mine uh, for that many years. Uh, oh, yeah, he's a class act. He came out to California and visited me a few times in the '80s and stuff. But uh, John, you were—is it true that you helped lay the bricks for the Merck Building there on Jackson Avenue? Is there any truth to that? Uh, you know, actually, when they built that, there was. Uh, I'm trying to remember where there was a meeting of the membership, and they were talking about what it was going to cost to uh, to uh, build the building. And uh, one of the guys said facetiously, he said, well, you know, we only work until about 1 o'clock in the afternoon here. We could all go over and lay a few bricks every afternoon and, uh, <laughs> and save some money, put it together. Yeah. But, uh, Gosh, darn no, it. I didn't. I didn't yeah. uh, I'm, I'm yeah. never laid bricks. I'm, Part well, life. that's good. Now, I, I know you know knew all the guys, but you knew Harry the Hat, of course, Harry the Hat, Lawrence, and his brother Ricky, and all yeah. those people. Do you have any stories that you'd like to share, that, you know, the ones that you always remember that you want to share to the folks? Because these <laughs> folks here are all related electronic trading. They don't even remember what a floor was like or, you know, the uh, history behind it and all the colorful people. Do you have any stories that you want to share? If you don't, we'll, we'll talk about cattle, which we will eventually, but you've got to have some great stories on there. <laughs> you know, I knew you were going to ask me about that, about funny things that happened, and I've been scratching my brain for uh, an hour now trying to think of uh, some stories, but and I can't come up with one. Uh, they, they're, <laughs> they're, they're, they're just too part of your history. John, do you remember the time when... Um, they maybe, used to maybe, they're not, maybe they're not fit for uh, public, uh, public <laughs> TV, you know. I'm sure that. Yeah, but, but Harry the Hat, Harry Lawrence, he was one of the, the legends down there. Uh, he always wore these really colorful hats, and his brother Ricky was probably the greatest uh, floor broker they ever had because he had a photographic memory. But as I, when I first started on the Merck, which was back in February of 1982, and I, I traded uh, right next to the Carl brothers because I traded pork bellies and cattle. I tried to stay away from the S&P and those other pits because they were too... Yeah, too you know loud and screaming. You get got hurt sometimes. But they there was a story that I never could verify that the Secretary of Agriculture Earl Butts would call or uh, call Harry and tell him what the report was going to be before the cattle reports and hog reports. Did you ever hear any of the rumors like that, or was that true, or was that just a rumor? Uh, that, that's news to me. I no, I never uh, knew anything, heard of anything like that. I. Mm. I can't really say. Uh, okay. Well, that's all right. Not a problem. Um, there, now, is, there is one story about uh, uh, about information leaking out, but uh, oh, there have been there have been a million stories over the years. You know, they used to say that in the Department of Agriculture there was a shade that they would pull halfway down if it was bullish, and and it, the shade would be up if the report was going to be uh, up if it was going to be bullish, and down if it was going to be bearish. But uh, I couldn't. Uh, Mm -hmm. I just heard those stories. Yeah. Now, when um, w what are you doing now? You worked for Seagull Trading for quite a while, the the, the meat king, right? Isn't, isn't that what you did for about 30 years? I've been, uh, well, I've been with George for, uh, George Seagull for over 40 years now. I think uh -huh. I first started with him in 1972, and then I did uh, a few things. I was on the floor, and I worked for Payne Weber, and he had uh, Payne Weber a while. And uh, I've been with George uh, now for probably 35, 30, 35 years again. So uh, we've known each other for a long time. Wow, that's super. Um, one of the questions that I have from one of our listeners right now is about the cattle market. We're looking at a chart of April cattle now up around that 130 level. Do you have a feeling on what uh, what's going on in the, in the cattle right now? You know, I don't. I don't pay much attention to the... Uh, to the uh, in any of the markets other than the S and P's anymore. Uh, really? I, I look at the hog, well, I look at the hogs and uh, and the cattle. I mean, I know that the cattle are up at contract highs, but uh, I just uh, a couple weeks ago went and looked at the history of the cattle, and I remember they went to 172 a few years ago, and I thought to myself, I don't even remember that. I don't know mm -hmm. how they did that. But uh, I, I would think that uh, I mean the, the the nature of the markets is so much different. I, it's just uh, uh, I, I don't do the research anymore. I look at it on a on a day to, you know every now and then, not a day to day basis. I've got a, a little position in hogs right now, but that's just because they're uh, because I 
cut the April hogs the other day. They were oversold. And uh, I would be, I'm kind of long-term bullish in hogs, but with the premiums, I don't know how to trade them. I don't know what to do back there. So. Wow. Do you trade but from I, home? I, yeah. You're trading from home now most of the time, or do you still have an office? Well, I, I still go into an office occasionally, a couple days a week, but uh, most of the time I'm at home or on the road somewhere. Mm -hmm. Now, while where you're in uh, Scottsdale, Arizona right now, visiting your daughter? Yes. Well, that's really great. Yeah. So you're still well, working full-time then, basically, area. as a trader. No, no. I, I consider myself uh, part-time at, at most. <laughs> I mean, uh, I, I watch, I see the, I, I watch the, the stock market every day. I I do, I manage some money, and by that I mean I'm supposed to be short the S&P when it's time to be uh, short the S&P again, against, mm -hmm. the, uh, against the market. And, uh, you know, beyond that, uh, now I won't, I probably won't trade the meats or the grains for a while, but I, I keep an eye on them. I, I, I know what they're doing. I, I would like to be bullish on the grains, I think, but uh, I don't see anything to do at the moment. I agree with you there, 100%. What about the stock market? Are you you said something about being short the S&P against the portfolio. Are you short the S&P right now, or are you allowed to tell us that? I'm. I'm. I have no position at the moment. Uh, I would. Uh, I'm, I'm just watching. I'm. You know. I'm. I'm waiting for some kind of a chart signal to uh, tell mm -hmm. me to do something. Okay. That makes. Tell that me makes when, sense. When is it? Where is it? You got it? Yeah. Well, I do, but then I'd have to kill you. John and I don't like I like you too much to do that. I I well, can remember I your voice from the old Payne Weber Squawk Box. You'd come on at the the office there, and that's how I first met Rich, going back in the early '70s. And I would get on as a guest once in a while from Beverly Hills. And uh, Rich says, "Gee, what is this thing he's talking about, Fibonacci?" <laughs> and we got we got to be friends over the years, very good friends over the years. And uh, I remember seeing you on the floor, you know, when I was there for the, the two years that I was there. But I spent most of my time back, you know, on the near the pork bellies with uh, Ira Zeidman, Morty Zeidman and, and that group, the Carl brothers and stuff. They were always very pleasant to me. And so I, I spent a great time there. I didn't like to go into the S&P pit. I sent my orders in and, you know, paid the two lot of brokerage fee because it was just too, too much of a danger to go into that pit. It was like animal, animal house over there. <laughs> hey, John, I want to thank you for coming in, buddy. We'll have you on again soon. Okay. Okay, okay. And, and travel safe and enjoy your trip here in California. Hope to see you this weekend. Maybe we can have lunch. Thank you very much, Larry. Have you a good bet. day. Thank you, folks. We'll be right back. That was John Sherwin, uh, idol and uh, um, a mainstay of Chicago Mercantile Exchange. If you're in the CD market and looking for a secure investment, the Tiger First Mortgage Program may work for you. The security for these first mortgages are building lots in the Tax Opportunity Zone in St. Petersburg, Florida. The Tax Act of 2018 set up tax-free zones across the country where you can build and hold for 10 years and pay no tax on the profits, which makes these lots valuable. The investment is anywhere from $30,000 to $75,000. The interest paid is 7% yearly paid on a monthly basis. According to Bankrate.com, the best rate for a four-year CD in the country as of February 20th is 3.1%. A $50,000 investment at a normal four-year CD rate of 3.1% would give you income of $1,550 per year or $6,200 over the four-year period. That same $50,000 investment in the Tiger First Mortgage Program would give you $3,500 per year or $14,000 over the four years. Which would you prefer, $6,200 or $14,000 of interest on your investment? If you would like more information about the Tiger First Mortgage Program, you can call me at 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. No matter what kind of trader you are, 2018 is a great time to try out a subscription to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report. Whether you just plan on diversifying Diversifying your portfolio with some exposure to gold and gold mining equities, or you're a gold bull that sees 2018 as the year of commodities, now is a great time to sign up for the Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his Gold Report every Monday morning before the market opens and covers a variety of topics including gold, silver, platinum, copper, 
the XAU and HUI, the dollar, bonds, South African Rand, as well as more than 20 of the most actively traded mining equities. Start your 2018 off with a bang and sign up for The Gold Report today. The Gold Report is a long-term newsletter where the focus is on building real wealth through the management of a successful portfolio of gold stocks. For all the details and to start your subscription right now, visit the front page of TFNN.com and you'll find The Gold Report under Investment Newsletters. Will the S&P 500 continue to climb? For bold trades on U.S. large cap stocks in either direction, trade SPXL, SPUU, or SPXS. Direction's daily S&P 500 bull and bear leveraged ETFs. Direction leveraged ETFs. An investor should carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risks, charges, and expenses before investing. A fund's prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a fund's prospectus and summary prospectus, call 866-476-7523 or visit directioninvestments.com. A fund's prospectus and summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor for Side Fund Services, LLC. The Bull Bear Binary Option Hour, next on TFNN. Okay, folks, we're back and we were talking about the S&P and believe it or not, I have this chart here and I can't find it and I'm really frustrated because I, uh, I had it all ready to go and I'm afraid to go back and look at the darn thing because I, uh, I'm afraid if I pull it up, I'm not going to get it right. So let's just uh, see if we can still find it. Oh, but while we're doing that, let's get on to the... Um, to the grains a little bit. We were just talking with John Cherney, an old mainstay of the Chicago Merck, and he's looking for a bottom in the in the grain markets, as I have been. I uh, tried it last week or so. It didn't quite work, but I'm keeping an eye on this uh, chart from our friend Rich Anderson. This is the uh, wheat corn spread, and that really has to go with value of feeding and everything and the value of food. If you look at this uh, chart here, you'll notice that we're getting down to a ex really big extreme here. In other words, the price of wheat is a big discount to the price of corn, and that'll eventually mean that people that feed animals will switch from wheat to corn if it gets any lower than that. So that'll help demand uh, down the road. But we're looking at patterns, and we're not we're not ready yet. We're still going to watch it, you know, because sometimes these patterns fail, as we all know. Folks, I'm going to have to bring that e-mini chart up again because I am frustrated, and I hate to be frustrated doing this. So give me about 10 seconds here, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. There we go. We'll get it down here. I showed the early part of it. Now I want to show where we are right now. There we go. Get it up to date here. You'll see, I'm going to just draw the line in so you'll be able to see it. This is the one that I use. It's not the one that I'm looking at here when I try to talk about these things. Let's get it up here. Here we go. Here's the hourly chart of this S&P. You can see the down sloping line. The sine waves at the top is the 135 pattern. That's also the head and shoulders pattern. You'll notice the downtrend line hasn't broken yet. We need to get that above 27.95. And that would mean that that trend would be broken to the upside and this pattern would not do very much. All it would mean is that the ABCD structure would take you up to 2801 where you have really strong resistance. But the head and shoulders pattern would certainly be broken. So that's what we're watching short term. Remember, this is a 60-minute chart. This isn't for you know, weekly or monthly portfolios. This is for basically, you know, watching the trading. And here in early trading, you know, we had a low this morning of about uh, uh, 2785. We're trading 2790 now, so another five points, and we could be b breaking above that. So we'll see whether that's going to happen down the road, but that's neither here nor there. It's not. The gold is now trading at 1319. Folks, the, the, one, the one chart that looks the most beautiful uh, of all of these darn things is that darn gold chart at 13 uh, 1292 boy that's that's got so much in it that it just uh it's really really important be the first uh really significant 38 2% retracement in a year and believe me this has been a very very bullish market in here the silver has not been nearly as bullish we brought that to your attention of course uh, over the past few weeks you'll notice that yet last week 
we did make that double top pattern when the uh, when the gold was making 1351. Uh, you notice that we didn't quite uh, take out that high. We just went up to the 61% retracement twice, once in late January, and then again on February the 20th, immediately closed above. In fact, it never closed above the 61% retracement at any time. And you can see the good support that's down there at 1520. We're trading around 1570 right now in uh, May silver. And if we get down to that uh, 1520 level, that would be a 38.2% retracement from the low way back in November. That would be one that would be certainly interesting, you know, to uh, pay uh, very, very close uh, attention to. That's the way it would look like uh, to me. Uh, on, on, a, um, on another note here, we're going to have uh, some guests next week. On the 4th of uh, March, we are going to have, that's Monday, we are going to have none other than Bill Meridian out of um, Cycles Research, Vienna, Austria. And then on the 5th, we have Norman, who calls it to the minute, Winsky from Astro Trend will be on. And then hopefully on Wednesday, we're going to have Stan Harley from Gilbert, Arizona, Phoenix, Arizona area. So that's an interesting one to uh take a quick look at it. So we'll see how that uh, see how that is working out as we go through uh, this level right here. So we'll keep a very close eye on some of these things here as we always do and uh, we'll we'll go from there. All right, one other question that someone's brought to our attention, we want to bring it up right here and that is about the Dow Jones Transportation Index. We don't look at this very often, but if you take a look at this Dow Jones Transportation, we have completed a 135 pattern. That's where you have lower highs. Both of them are exactly at the 78% level. You notice that the October through December period completed a perfect Gartley. That's when we started down on December 3rd, went all the way down, straight down for three weeks, completing that big ABCD pattern. And then since December the 24th, one uh, six weeks straight up to the 78% level, that made 0.5. And we haven't exceeded that as of yet. Until that's exceeded, we're assuming that we're getting ready to have another leg down. Now, whether that is going to happen or not, you know, remains to be seen. So let's just keep it in mind. Another one that's very interesting that we really should talk about, and I, I think it's important here, is this crude oil market. I want to bring this up to you because we are in the process of uh, – hold on one second here – we're in the process. We had that 78% level up there at that 57.30. What we were looking for possibly today was to see a 61% retracement coming down about another uh, half a dollar a barrel down to that 56.10, which would have been a really nice buying opportunity, but it didn't quite get to that level, and it's uh, been quite strong. In fact, it was not even a 382 retracement on that, so that could even be, even be more bullish. So that's uh, one of the main things. The euro... Of course, we've been we already talked about that that it hit some pretty strong resistance up in there. We backed off about 35 pips, which isn't much for day traders. It's a fortune, but for anybody else, it really isn't too much, uh, you know, to pay too much attention to. And since we were talking about the uh, the British pound uh, and some of the other things that we walked that we walked through here yesterday, we went right up to this big A B C D pattern up here, and you'll see that. Uh, we did get up to that 133.50 uh, level. That was the exact high. The number we were watching, of course, was 133.29. That was the 1.27 expansion, the double ABCD patterns. We had one from January 14th, February 11th. That was the first ABCD. The second ABCD was from February 11th into the one we completed yesterday. They all completed, all three of those numbers came in at 133.29. And, of course, the high was 133.50, and we're trading at 132.70 right now. So the first profit objective on that bridge British pound would have most certainly uh, been met by now, and you'd be at a break-even trade, and that's uh, what we try to do as we as we look at some of these uh, other markets as we're as we're going out uh, through today. We've had a question about the Fang stocks, folks. There's only one Fang stock that is uh, bullish uh, of the you know the Facebook, Amazon, Apple, Network. Uh, Google and uh, Netflix. Netflix is the only one that is bullish. The rest of these are certainly not. Uh, uh, they're certainly not bullish. So we want to pay uh, close attention to that because it's an interesting thing to uh, uh, to pay attention to. 
Now let's move on to check the prices here. Uh, we did get up and we touched it. We touched the, uh, let's just double check to see how close we got to that. Uh, I think we hit the 95 right on the money, didn't we? Yeah, we hit 27.95.75. That was the number where the downtrending line comes in on the S&P. Now, whether it's going to turn for that, we need to really get it to bust above that level. We're trading 27.91 now. Let's take a break here, and then we'll talk about... Um we both know you've got what it takes to crush your goals with the will to make it happen. So why haven't you accomplished it yet? For most, the answer is fear. Fear is that limiting factor that stops us from getting what we truly want, but it doesn't have to. That's why on Wednesday, February 27th from 5 to 6 p.m., I'll be hosting my one-hour workshop, Overcoming Fear in Five Easy Steps. Hi, I'm Steve Rhodes, the 2018 Market Timer of the Year, author of Mastering Probability and an expert in human emotion. Subscribers to Mastering Probability gain free access to this extraordinary workshop where I'll coach you how to bust through your barriers of fear. How you respond to fear is what sets you apart from the rest of the crowd. Look, this could be the most valuable hour we ever spend together. So come to the homepage of TFNN.com and begin your 30-day risk-free trial of Mastering Probability and take the next step towards the life you deserve. If you haven't checked out the newsletters page of TFNN.com, what are you waiting for? All of the TFNN newsletters are informative, up-to-date, affordable, and a must-have for every trader looking to gain a competitive informational edge in today's markets. TFNN newsletters cover every aspect of the markets to offer you the very latest in market news. Plus, new subscribers get to test drive our newsletters risk-free for 30 days. From all aspects of the markets, including stocks, bonds, metals, commodities, and tech, there's a newsletter to fit your needs exclusively from TFNN. Stay informed each day you trade and get that competitive edge that will help you stay ahead of the game. Visit our newsletters page by going to TFNN.com and click the newsletters button near the top of the page. TFNN.com, educating investors. Since 1984, Basil Chapman has been using the Chapman Wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion. While originally hand-drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s, Basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply. Later, Basil found that computer software, which included the standard market technical indicators, enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns, as well as market trend calls. Thus was born the Chapman Wave sequence. Using the Chapman Wave methodology along with other indicators, Basil Chapman advises his subscribers of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter. Right now, you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call, Basil's daily trading newsletter, by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, The Opening Call, today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Okay, we're back, folks, and what we want to be doing now is to take a look at this long-term wheat chart. This is a daily wheat chart, as you can see here, that 61% retracement that we looked at uh, early last week that didn't last very long. Uh, we're now looking at a potential 78% level coming in at right around 446. We're trading at 458 right now. Uh, this is what we want to be watching. Remember, you know, we had the uh, we had the full moon, that super full moon, back on the 19th that means we've got a new moon coming in next week so we want to pay a very very close attention to that because it'll be uh, something that should be uh, at least a tiny bit uh, positive for the wheat if there is such a thing and it's just so bearish now the, the corn is held up relatively well as has the uh, the soybeans and of course soybean oil is held up extremely well but we want to wait for that you can notice that the wheat is a beautiful technical picture looking at the weeklies over the last five years 
I mean, it's got everything. The ABCDs are there. You see all the retracements. You can see the candlestick patterns that we look for, shooting stars and some of the others. But uh, it's a great technical picture to look at, and it's been traded for thousands of years. Uh, Andrew Lowe's book, The Evolution of Commodity, uh, Evolution of Technical Analysis, he spent 50 pages of that book. Uh, the first 50 pages talking about the first chartists were astrologers, going back to the Sumerians and Babylonians, 5, 7,000 B.C. But we're going to wait. We're not going to have to wait that long. We'll probably have a bottom sometime in the next four or 5,000 years. But we're watching the wheat at 446, down about 12 cents from where we're trading right now. And that'll be a very, very low risk trade. You'll be able to be a complete farmer, you know, for under 400 bucks, eight cents. And you don't have to lease the land. You don't have to buy a tractor. You don't have to get out and get a, a farmer tan or anything like that. You just buy it and hold it on. And hopefully that will go up. And hopefully, of course, it's not a very good trading range or trading word. But we'll watch it. Now, tomorrow. I've got something special planned, so don't miss the show. It's going to be a little bit interesting, a little bit of astrological flavor. So we'll be back tomorrow. So see you on the flip-flop. Live every day in an attitude of gratitude, and may God bless. Hi, folks. Tom O'Brien here. If you'd like to get my daily newsletter, Market Insights, then now is a great time to sign up for a 30-day free trial. Every morning by 9.30, I send out my morning letter to subscribers with market commentary on a variety of markets, currencies, and commodities to keep investors up to date on the day's trading action. Included in Market Insights are specific buy and sell recommendations for stocks, ETFs, and even options, with stops and price targets included for every trade in my newsletter. If you'd like to try my newsletter risk-free for 30 days, then head over to the front page of TFN and you'll find Market Insights under Trading Newsletters. I use my years of trading experience to bisect and dissect the market every morning and give my subscribers the most important information they need to know for the day ahead. I even issue afternoon updates for my subscribers whenever warranted with important market action. I'm always scouring the market for the next great trading opportunity. Sign up for your 30-day free trial to my daily newsletter, Market Insights, today by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Wow! Go get them, folks!